Next level. This Saturday, enjoy a holiday pop-up market with some of the trendiest shops in town. It's Holiday on Hamill with more than 150 vendors. I did not make a mistake there. Tiffany Miller is one of them. She has Charlotte Grace and she's bringing this to us with her Charlotte Grace events. Good to see you. Good to see you. So quick little si uh, side story. My 20 year old daughter is a shopaholic and she's got a really good eye. And she came home the other day and she said, Mom, we have <laughs> got to go to the mall. There is the cutest pop-up store. Oh, and that's, that's you. It is me. Yes, we're, we're really excited. So we are an online boutique, but during the busy seasons, we go into Hamilton Place Mall and we're located next to White House Flight Market across from Bath and Body Works. And we would love her, but we will be there till December 31st. Well, so. in the event that you can't make it on Saturday, and we're going to tell you what's happening on Saturday, yes. I did want to go ahead and get that out there because if you do have maybe high school through mid-20s, college-aged girls, is that kind of the we market? Actually, we, we market a large age group, so we okay. have anywhere from teenagers all the way up through six, eight people in their 60s oh, coming to so shop with us. Oh, so for me too. Yeah, well, I don't know how old you are, <laughs> but absolutely. <laughs> um, so yeah, so we invite everybody, you know, we just, we try to have a wide variety so, so everybody feels like they can find something. Okay, so let's talk about what you're gonna find at the Holiday on Hamill. This yes. is really a true, mm -hmm not even labor, a gift of love. It is, it is you. a gift of love. Um, so um, Charlotte Grace Events, we put on this event on behalf of the Ministry Center and we all of the funds from the vendors go to the Ministry Center, which is divided up upon between like different um, organizations, the Forgotten Child Fund, Ronald McDonald House, um, different organizations like that to help with missions and ministry. Isaiah 117, yes. all of it. Yes, uh, Love's Arm, um, this kind of thing. Oh things. yeah, so yeah. all of, there are so many. Yes. I heard once that Chattanooga had among the highest number of nonprofits in the country. Yes. Once upon a time, it was something like 1,800 yes. nonprofits yes. in our little area. And Charlotte Grace is actually forming a nonprofit. We're in the midst of it right now. Our first event is on December 22nd, and we are hosting um, families across the county who cannot um, af maybe afford Christmas for their kids, and we are um, giving them a Christmas dinner and providing them that we're going to sponsor the kids so the families can go home with gifts to open on Christmas morning. And so people can go on our website if they are in need and um, they can go on our website and apply to be a part of that as well. So every year and the older you get I think the more common this statement is people will say I just get so tired of the materialism of Christmas I right. want to feel the meaning behind it yes. again. This kind of gives you a chance to have your cake and eat it too it doesn't does. it? Yes. Yes. So you can't possibly rattle off all 150 vendors, but what types of things oh, are we going to Oh my goodness. See? So we have everything from um, if you need ornaments, if you need wood signs for your doors. Um, we have boutiques there with all kinds of really cute, adorable clothes. We have food vendors, Spill the Beans, The Lunch Lady, um, Grindhouse Coffee. We have um, Cajun Jambalaya is going to be there. We, I mean, so many different vendors. We have um, face painters, inflatable. We have a free petting zoo. So it's fun for the kids it to come. It is. Free petting zoo. A Chattanooga carriage rides is going to be there to give carriage rides. Oh, wow. And then um, you can bring the kids to the North Pole where they can do activities on their way to see Santa and have free pictures made with Santa. Free pictures made with Santa. Free pictures made with Santa. Okay, yes. so if you come with maybe a helper or two, the kids can go do that and you can do a little bit of shopping. Yes. You brought these toys because you wanted to remind people that with the Forgotten Child Fund, they yes. ask for an unwrap, I mean an un opened. Un, yes, an unopened, unwrapped, unwrapped toy, gift. Yeah. Yes, so when you come into the front of the building, there will be probably 10 to 12 Forgotten Child Fund boxes where people can bring their toy donation. And they are also in need of coats, infant through adult size. So we're, we're collecting coats and toys, um, new coats with you know the tags on them and everything. They can bring them and donate them there. And then also when you donate, you can come to the desk there and register. And we're giving away a TV, we're giving away AirPods, gift wow. cards, all kinds of door prizes. When did you start this? Five years ago? Five years ago. The yes. online? The, um, oh, the online? Um, Five years ago, we okay. started the boutique. Four years ago, we started um, Holiday on Hamill. And then we also, like this year, we've done 18 festivals around town. Wow. Yeah. Do you just kind of go home at the end of these and just pinch yourself? At how many people you get to work with who yes. share that same spirit? Oh, absolutely. I have an amazing group of vendors who just, 
um, have the same desire to help others as we do. And we that's what we love. We build relationships. And mm -hmm. when I put this out there, I'm like, hey, guys, this is what I want to do. And I have an overwhelming response from them. Oh, we would love to help. How can yeah. we help? And they're, they're 100% behind me. Well, it's, it's like the power yeah. of the collective effort, right? Yes. I mean, you can do a little bit by yourself, but you yes. pull together oh, yeah. a lot of people. Yeah. You the make a big difference. The resources are, are amazing, you know, to be able to help so many people. And I know with you at Charlotte Grace, and I'm sure that other vendors are the same way, y'all are local. We are local. And so you yes. keep your pricing that way as yes. well. Yeah, uh, we, try to, we try to make it affordable for people so people can come and feel like they're getting an item that they can take home with them and enjoy and being able to su making it that way we can support so more than one just one a day okay know? so yeah. uh, if you're teenage to 68 she said <laughs> <laughs> you can go shop her at Charlotte Grace it's a pop-up store there at Hamilton Place that's of course if you can't make it on Saturday yes uh, it's a holiday on Hamel what time does it start it starts at 10 a.m. it goes till 4 p.m. okay and um, you can check it out at charlottegraceevents.com all right and your yeah. earrings are super cute. Oh, thank you. Actually, one of my vendors that is going to be there this weekend made these. She made, It's Iron Valkyrie and she okay. makes some of the cutest clay um, holiday earrings. So definitely go. check her out. <laughs> I wanted my kitchen to be perfect for my family's lifestyle. The Tile Store helped me create my dream kitchen on time and on budget. At the Tile Store, we listen to you and create your vision. From the